Good morning to you from a wet, dank, warm Wednesday morning here in Cumbria. And it's good to welcome our dear sister Jan and those who've not logged in. Welcome to Wednesday morning prayer. <clears throat> we light this light to give thanks to God for each one of you who've joined us here for all our community, past and present, and for all our many friends on social media, for Brother Skip in America, for Thomas Aquinas Q, I believe it's Singapore, <clears throat> and for our sisters and brothers who are unwell, and not forgetting Sister Diane's little grandson who's nine, and who's in hospital at this moment. So we remember little Tyler, and we send him all our love. So this morning we begin with our prologue of our brother and sister as scenes of Mount Sinai. And we say together, <clears throat> we enter the eternal and infinite garden with reverence to the heavenly father, mother God, the earthly mother and all the great masters and reverence to the holy, pure and saving teaching and reverence to the brotherhood and sisterhood of the elect. Excuse me, Wednesday morning we commune with the angel of the sun, saying, Angel of the sun, enter my solar center and give the fire of life to my entire body. As these words are spoken, we contemplate the rising sun and experience the accumulated solar energies radiating through your solar center, located at the solar plexus, sending healing life force energy through your entire body. Amen. So we begin <clears throat> our prayers this morning and our first reading is from a little book from Durham Cathedral, a gift from Brother Rob when he was there the other week. And for Wednesday morning we read, The Spirit of God is upon you. The Spirit of God strengthen you. The Spirit of God guide you. The Spirit of God enlighten you. The Spirit of God fill you today and evermore, today and evermore. God of peace, relax the tensions of my body, still the anxieties of my mind. Calm the storms of the heart, give me courage to wait. Let peace flow in me through me and from me, the deep, deep peace of God. And there's a lovely prayer. <clears throat> God is with you when the way is dark and life seems cold. God is with you when the body is weak and you feel old. God is with you when doubts arise and fears descend. God is with you forever, my friend. Wow, what a lovely poem to start the day. And from Psalms now we read <clears throat> Psalm 110. God spoke to me today. He broke through my childish doubts with words of comfort and assurance. Hang in there, sit tight. Stick to my course for your life, he said. I will not let you down. He reminded me of how he cared for past saints, how he watched over them and kept them through their hours of suffering and uncertainty. He reviewed for me my own life, his loving concern through the days of my youth. He restated for me my commission and appointment, his trust in me as his servant in this sorry world. He reiterated his gracious promises to stand by me, to empower and support me in the conflicts that await me. I know that God is with me today, just as surely as he was with his saints of old. I have neither to fear nor to doubt the eternal love and presence of my Lord. <clears throat> And 
from our little book of favourite prayers chosen by ordinary people from all walks of life. When I was asking upstairs for some guidance, it opened and this is what we got. It's from Michael Hawke, a hospice director. I asked God for strength that I might achieve. I was made weak that I might learn humbly to obey. I asked for health that I might do greater things. I was given infirmity that I might do better things. I asked for riches that I might be happy. I was given poverty that I might be wise. I asked for power that I might have the praise of men. I was given weakness that I might feel the need of God. I got nothing that I asked for, but everything I hoped for. I am among all men and women most richly blessed. Now, there's a prayer and a half. <clears throat> And I'm guided to read two quotes from the little book of wisdom by His Holiness the Dalai Lama. And the first reflection is on compassion. Compassion is committed. True compassion is not just an emotional response, but a firm commitment found on reason. And compassion is constant. A truly compassionate attitude towards others does not change, even if they behave negatively. So there you have it. And yes, I've just read this for the thought for today, but something is saying to me, read it again, because probably many of you won't get a chance to look at thought for today. So here we go. Stop trying to work things out before their times have come. Accept the limitations of living one day at a time. When something comes to your attention, ask me whether or not it is part of today's agenda. If it isn't, release it into my care and go on about your daily duties. When you follow this practice, there will be a beautiful simplicity about your life, a time for everything and everything in its time. A life lived close to me is not complicated or cluttered. When you focus, when your focus is on my presence, many things that once troubled you lose their power over you. Though the world around you is messy and confusing, remember that I have overcome the world. I have told you these things so that in me, you may have peace. So there you go. But let us just be still and just collect our thoughts for a moment and reflect on some of the words that we've shared with you. And we invite, we vote, we call upon the Christ to come and speak with us this morning, to give us strength, to give us God's grace, so that when we do hit rock bottom, that the Spirit of God who already lives within us will give us a head start. so that we can come from our dark night of the soul experience and experience God's loving peace once more. As we take a deep breath and breathe in that love of God and in our out breath let us release any tiredness, tension, weariness, unforgiveness, whatever may be holding us back. Let us ask the Christ to come to us, to give us the strength this day to discern what he is saying to us, 
and to give us the courage to do what he's asking of us. And I'm just getting a strong sensation in my heart to say, blessed are they who do not see me and yet believe, theirs is the kingdom of heaven. I call you my friends, if you do the will of him who sent me. Remember, I said I would never leave you. I would never leave you. Lord, thank you for speaking to our hearts. And give us your courage today. Let us come to this table of love where all fates are welcome, where the whole family of God are welcome also and where we bring our love the love of God to one another and now we come with our requests to God and we share with our loving Father Mother God the God who has many names what ails us today what troubles us today let us name it let us bless it and release it to God. In a mindset of gratitude, leave it with God. Step back and say, thank you, God. We are called to be a people of faith. We are called to be a people of prayer. So let us pray for one another. <clears throat> and our intercessions this morning we read God is love God is love and he who dwells in that love dwells in God and Christ in him in Jesus Christ we see how God loves us so let us renew our faith in this amazing love. Lord, you have given us life and light this morning. Let us give thanks for the gifts from your sacred hands. You are sole master of our future. Keep us from despair and the fear of what is to come. Love has no ambition for itself. So strengthen our will to give up selfishness today. Excuse me. May your love in us overcome all things. Let there be no limit to our faith, our hope and our endurance. And this morning when we began prayer, <coughs> excuse me, we remembered each one of you gathered here. And now we present each one of you to the Lord, to the Lord Christ, who's here. And we bring all the brothers and sisters of our community around the world, both past and present. But we remember especially today, dear sister Diane in Lee in Lancashire, her nine-year-old grandson, Tyler, who was born without an esophagus and they replaced it with a piece of bowel that's been causing problems so he's back in hospital now and they're trying to resolve some of the problems the mechanics of that bowel where maybe it's not functioning as well as it should a brave little boy nine year old but we remember dear sister Jackie in Idaho and Jen in Coventry we remember those who are struggling, like dear sister Miriam in New Zealand and brother Harry in Cheshire. We remember the many blessings that God has bestowed upon our community. 
And we pray for our oblates and postulants in training for dear Nancy in Mexico and her family. We pray today for dear sister Buffy in New York, for Eleanor and Elizabeth in Philadelphia. We remember Teresa, we remember sister Olivia in Cumbria. We remember our resident brothers, Paul and Rob. And we pray for our dear brother, Brian, our Franciscan trucker. And for the many, 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 many who've asked our prayers, not forgetting sister Corazon de la Santos, a third order Franciscan in Winnipeg, Canada, for her son Daniel and for her brother Faustian. And with Jan, we pray for all on our lists and we pray for global unity and peace. Oh, praying for Brother Sean, Rob, and Paul and Murray. Thank you, Jan. And we pray for John, your partner and husband, and pray his back is better. We pray that his back is a lot stronger, having held him in prayer at midnight. We pray today for the children of God who've lost hope in a loving God because of scandals within various religions. We pray for those who are homeless. We pray for our ex-servicemen and women, many of whom can't cope with civil life, so they choose homelessness and end up developing problems with drink and drugs. We remember them. We remember all our religious leaders that they will act responsibly as they represent God to God's children and not abuse God's gift or power to enslave them to fear or control their minds, leaving them fractured and wounded as many of us were when we were growing up, where we lived in such fear of God that we grew up with this fear. So we pray for His Holiness the Dalai Lama, Thich Nhat Hanh, our Holy Father Pope Francis, and for Queen Elizabeth, our reigning monarch and head of the Church of England, and for all the men and women of all faiths who've dedicated their lives for unity and peace in God's service. Let's pray. Let's be still now as we come into the presence of God and we pray the Lord's Prayer together. Oh, I forgot to pray for our brothers and sisters living on the east coast of Queensland where Cyclone Debbie has wreaked havoc, where many, I think there's something like 60,000 without water, without power, where many homes have been devastated many businesses and where they've got to be on their guard now for wild animals, whatever that, that means, I don't know. But on the news flash this morning at five o'clock, it was saying that they're advising people to be on their guard for wild animals. So we pray for them. The Lord's Prayer. Our Father, Mother God, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come. Thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us today our daily bread, and forgive us our weaknesses, lead us not astray, but protect us from the forces of evil, negativity and despair. For thine is the kingdom, the power and the glory, for ever and ever. Amen. <clears throat> and our closing prayer is going to be, God has no hands but our hands to do his work today. He has no feet but our feet to lead men in his way. He has no tongue but our tongues to tell men how he died. He has no help but our help to bring them to his side. We are the only Bible the careless world will read. We are the sinner's gospel. We are the scoffer's creed. We are the Lord's last message, given in deed and word. What if the type is crooked? What if the print is blurred? What if our hands are busy with other work than his? What if our feet are walking where sin's allurement is? 
What if our tongues are speaking of things his lips would spurn? How can we hope to help him and hasten his return? And now for the Celtic blessing, the blessing of heaven, the blessing of earth, the blessing of sea and sky, on those we love this day and on every human family, the gift of heaven, the gift of earth, the gift of sea and sky, the gifts of brother sun and sister moon, and the gifts of the animal kingdom be in your hearts now and forevermore. Amen. And as we come to blow out this flame, we thank the Lord Christ for touching all of us here and all whom we have remembered in prayer this morning. Amen. So go in peace to love and to serve our God. Namaste, shalom. Inshallah, pax et bonum. Om shanti. Solo di carita. Salam alaikum. And may the peace of our God reign in your mind, in your body and spirit today. If this is your bedtime, sleep well. And for the rest of us, we pray that you have a good day despite the rain and that Brother Sun will eventually come out and warm our hearts till we meet again. God bless you.